Hi, and welcome back to Two Minutes of Power. Today's message is called, It's Not Too Late. We're talking about the parable of the lost son in Luke 15, starting at verse 11. I want to read to you the beginning of this parable and talk to you about one particular point we're going to take a look at. Jesus continued. Now, this is Jesus talking to the tax collectors and the sinners, and in earshot of them are the Pharisees and religious leaders. Jesus continued, verse 11, there was a man who had two sons. The younger one said to his father, Father, give me my share of this state. So he divided his property between them. Verse 13, not long after that, the younger son got together all he had, set off for a distant country, and there squandered his wealth in wild living. After he had spent everything, there was a severe famine in that whole country, and he began to be in need. So he went and hired himself out to a citizen of that country who sent him to his field to feed pigs. Verse 16. He longed to fill his stomach with the pods that the pigs were eating, but no one gave him anything. When he came to his senses, he said, How many of my father's hired servants have food to spare? And here I am starving to death. We're going to end at verse 18. I will set out and go back to my father and say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. And we know the rest of the parable, he goes home and he's welcomed by his father. Amen. Now this parable represents the lost uh, that we are praying for, that we're believing God for them to come home, to come to their senses. Amen. I want to read that part again. Verse 17. When he came to his senses, he said, how many of my father's hired servants have food to spare? Amen. So we are believing, praying for, and we need to be, if we're not, for ourselves to come to our senses, if it's something that we're on a path of destruction, or if it's someone else to come to their senses. Now, we can be looking at someone and be thinking, ah, they just need to come to their senses. Ah, if they would just wake up. And we want to watch a spirit of pride, amen, because we can have a plank in our own eye, but easily see the speck in someone else's eye. So when we're praying for someone else to uh, come uh, around, come alive in Christ, we need to do it from a place of faith, not fear, not prejudice, not pride over them to come home, but faith that God can do anything. And that Proverbs 22 and 6 says, uh, when you train up a child in the way that they should go, when they're old, they will not depart from it. We stand on the promises of God if they were trained up. And if they weren't trained up, we still can pray because God can still save them. Amen. He can still draw them in. So on today, we want to be reminded, it's not too late for them to come home. 